let's just make sure and there we are awesome awesome hello everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today is march 23rd 2020 and what we are going to do today is uh, take a look at some comic books okay what we're gonna do is basically take a look at a few boxes <laughs> and i don't think we're going to go through all of this but what i wanted to do was basically uh, sort of show and tell just to show you some of the comic books that i've bought over the last few years uh, probably 90 about 90 percent of the books that are in these boxes and a few other boxes are because i sort of for the last six seven years since we've been loading on comic book videos i've been doing comic book hauls and putting things aside and had a major pull list so i've been pulling comics and stuff so what you're going to see 90 percent of it is most likely what we've bought in the last five six seven years or so okay some of them are books from my uh, pull list uh actually a lot of them are books from my pull list uh, a lot of them will be books that we've had during comic book hauls. And if you check out our comic book playlist, you'll see some of those comic book haul videos. And some of these are books that I have had in my collection for a number of years. And sometimes I go through my boxes and pull out comics that I wanna take a look at. But when you pull out comics from a box, you can't just leave the empty space, you gotta fill it up. So sometimes I switch those up with comics that I bought recently. So there might be well, there is, you know, about 5% or so of the books here, 5 or 10% of the books will be books that I've had in my collection for a very long time. Okay. Aside from that, I'm going to go to chat um, because we are live streaming this. Okay. And if you want to know uh, where you can find the information, what we're doing here, I do post everything on our Patreon page. Okay. So patreon obvious is a great way to support this project support this work and i do announce everything on patreon and it's all public i never private anything so you can just follow there if you can't contribute you can just follow what we're doing and sort of i put up the live stream schedule where we are live streaming on twitch so if you want to watch these live streams twitch is definitely where you want to be and i do announce these uh well what we're doing the videos we're uploading and uh, 30 minutes before we go live i do announce the live streams on twitter as well as gap minds vk and hello um, those are sort of social platforms that i'm active on right now we might do more later on as we decentralize more and more okay and after the live stream uh this is done we will be uploading these videos all the live streams well all the live streams on bitshoot most of the live streams on youtube uh, i'm sort of opening the doors for that to be posted more on youtube as well now and since we're in the middle of a pandemic global pandemic uh, keep this in mind you want to flatten the curve do not overwhelm your healthcare systems no matter what country you're in okay do a little social distancing uh, give the healthcare workers in your country a break okay because they don't want to deal with a huge influx of people that might need help okay aside from that i'm going to go to chat and just catch up with people give people a little bit of time to roll in to the live stream and what we're going to do i actually have one long box here that i sort of use as a i basically have one long box where i when i buy comic books from my pull list or we do comic book hauls and stuff like this i put these in a long box and when the long box is starting to get full i go and buy short boxes and i transfer from the long box to the short boxes so this is my working box that i have right now right and it's about 75 percent full so we're gonna look at this first and then i'm gonna let the chat decide which one of these boxes we're gonna take a look at first okay so i'm going to take these down uh twitter down twitch this is where we're live streaming and if you'd like to support this project 
Patreon is a great way to do it or through subscribing, sharing, liking, following and whatnot. Okay, that was a long winded introduction to a comic book haul video. Now I'm going to pop out the chat here uh, and pop out the chat. Catch up. Oh, man, I lost all the chat. That's right. I was supposed to read it before I pop it out. <laughs> My apologies, gang. I keep on doing that. Comics time, comics time, spot of tea. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. And when I do start showing these comic books, I'm going to move the chat over from this side to this side. Okay. And I'm going to display the comic books here so you guys see what's going on. This is the my working box. Okay. This is the one I sort of rotate the comics. Uh, Put the new ones in here and then transfer them all to the short boxes so up to you guys gang after we take a look at what's in here you guys decide from number one to ten and just to let you know number one and number two are magazine boxes i have magazines in there as well as some comic books and then number three to ten are comic books okay welcome welcome everyone thanks spider-man been super busy at work and haven't been able to catch any of chicho's oh no i'll a truce how are you doing streams like thing. i'm on my lunch break you're working yeah wow 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 always be making how are you doing hey chicho i started live streaming education from home today nice just to be available to students who need help i think there might be a place for streamed education in our new i did always be making 100 percent and if you are watching this if you're an educator you need to have a presence online you need to be live streaming you need to be making videos making exercises solutions and stuff like this we're going through a transition period right now where it's the decentralization of education it is needed desperately okay just you know my take on it cool martin how are you doing hope you're doing okay friend good luck at work good luck at work for sure of course the moment i put on a system of the record is when chicho starts streaming fast car how you doing brother you weren't kidding when you said long box long box and you know what most of my collection is in long boxes because most of my collection was pre or a huge chunk of my collection is pre uh when the publishers went into the glossy heavy paper so the long boxes are much lighter to carry for you know golden age uh silver bronze copper age and stuff like this up to the early 2000s or late 1990s so if you have a long box of comic books from the 80s the weight on those is so much lighter than a long box of comic books from now the that's why I started switching over to the short boxes. The long boxes are way too heavy, way too heavy, right? Spot of tea. My love of comics found me, Chicho. Nice. <laughs> awesome, awesome. A lot of mods here. It's all mods here. Awesome. Fun gang. Metal and ASMR is an interesting balance for sure. Same with hip hop which block has the most spider you know what these guys are randomized like there might be some that are in a row okay the first one i'm gonna this long box we're gonna go through this is my working i also use this long box when i'm pulling comics out of my collection that i'm looking for i transfer them over here and i put them in bunch bunches so my collection is in like bunches solo scattered it, it doesn't go by year or any well some of the stuff because when I'm buying, actually, unless I transfer other things in there, there they should be within a certain age, right? I swear, I'm gonna head to bed now. Oh, great lasagna! How are you doing? Just want to pop in and say hello. Hello, hello, sweet dreams, great lasagna. Even their side projects are incredible. Chuck liquid swords all of our classics are also online from now on and this could last for a few months 
Oh, classes. I read that as classics. Classes, nice. Many exams have also been canceled altogether. It does feel good uh, being home all day, but I'm sure it'll get boring pretty quickly. Hopefully, you're staying up with your courses. Hey, everybody. I'm so ready for comic books. So ready for comic books. Yes, no rest. I work in the healthcare, all oh, healthcare industry. I choose, yeah. And swap for obvious reasons. Uh, I'm an administration and working from home. Yeah. Yeah. The healthcare industries are being taxed hardcore. People are very stressed out. <laughs> Spider Man, <laughs> you'll get there. I'm much older than you. I've been collecting for way longer, right? Hi, Chicho. Nice evening. Surprise stream. Mander, how are you doing? Chicho, what's in the box? Let's start going through the boxes. Gang, I'm going to move the chat over to this side. Okay. That way, uh, it's actually darker here, so you can read the chat better, and people can see the covers without uh, without the chat interfering. Yes, Chicho, have you ever done? Would ever uh, ever do a music stream talking about recommendations and sharing your topic? Uh, Finma, Bob, we've go to our. Uh, YouTube page I have a music folder I've done a little bit of music I had I do plan on doing more um, I just have to schedule it in I would love to go through there is a stream we did where I played you some of my tapes that, that were in boxes <laughs> so uh, for sure for sure if you remind me in discord I'll try to make sure I schedule one in is there any functional difference between subscribing on Twitch or pledging on Patreon? Um, Patreon, they take way less of a cut. On uh, Twitch, if you subscribe using uh, Amazon Prime, then it doesn't cost you anything because if you got Prime, then you can just subscribe, right? So that dings Amazon. But if you buy a subscription or tier one or whatever it is, tier two, on Twitch, I believe they take 50%. Patreon is just a minor deduction when they transfer. So Patreon is the most cost-effective way. Uh, it's the most bang for your buck if you're paying directly. Uh, always be making. Okay. I'm still, you know, I've been trying to figure all this stuff out. <laughs> there's, it's so many different things with decentralization. There's a lot of stuff going on, right? Let me show you these. First, I don't know if I've, some of these you would have seen in comic book halls, by the way. Okay, so first order of business is image first. Okay, graphic novels I bought. This is volume two. Uh, sorry, this is volume three, and I have volume two, and I bought three copies. Okay, uh, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, uh, Alan Scott Cron. Alan Scott. Okay, now. I bought three sets of these. I'm keeping one set for myself. And I had planned on giving these to students that love comic books, students that I have that love comic books. But uh, I read through them. They're a little bit mature. So I'm not going to be handing these out to my students. Uh, but I will give them to any of my friends that might want them. And that's one thing I do do. I buy comic books sometimes. I buy. Uh, a handful if I'm going to be handing them out or I buy extra copies for people that I think that might be enjoying them and of course I buy some because people are chasing them they're collectibles you know something important's happened right so take a look at this bloodshot okay this is the most recent series with Tim Seeley now I'm not going to go through uh, mentioning what all of these are because some of these I don't know uh, what I would like to do is just show you guys the covers and let chat take over. So I'm not really going to be reading chat too much. I'm going to show you comic books and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. And after we finish each box, right, we're going to finish this box that we have here. And then you guys decide what you want us to take a look at. Okay. Number one and number two are magazine boxes. They do have comic books. They do have large magazine format stuff, and they have some magazines in there that are in my collection, including some heavy metal. Okay. Uh, number three to number 10 are comic book boxes. I don't care which one you guys pick. There's no way we can finish them all today. Okay. 
<laughs> my vote is box number eight. <laughs> this is one of the I love it. And definitely I can pull that out. After we finish this block, I'll come to the chat. You guys decide. Okay. Let's look at some comic books. Wonder Woman. Let me do it this way. I'm going to be putting these ones on the wall. Okay. I pull them out, put them together. Beautiful covers, really. They're beautiful covers. Night of Old, the box with the oldest comics. I don't know which one that is. I really don't. It would. It probably wanted to be maybe one of the magazine boxes. Okay. They're incredible, beautiful covers. These are gonna go on my wall, right? actually communal wall i'm not going to put it in my uh the area that i control i'm going to put them in the hallway wow we'll see where they work beautiful cover wow 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 right beautiful cover awesome and i had these in my working box because these are the ones that are going to go up right and keep in mind i do love my independent comics right so you're going to see a fair bit of independent comics some older stuff dr mirage right. started with a bang immortal hulk fantastic series i've read some of it money shots Traveling the galaxy for the money shots. I have some of them, Knights of Old, some of the comics I got as a kid. Bloodshot USA, Bloodshot USA, Bloodshot USA. This is a beautiful cover, by the way. Bloodshot's day off. <laughs> this was a fun read, oh yeah. I'll try to get rid of the glare for you guys. I'm going to hold it back a little bit. It gives a little glare if I come up, come cl too close. That's a variant cover. This was a fun read. Yeah, the Dr. Mirage is beautiful. Beautiful cover. Oop, let me do this one. Apologies about the glare. I should have probably scheduled this. Uh, during the day so i think that could just go we could just go with natural light right you want some bat mats let's do some bat mats you've probably seen this in a comic book hall i think i showed it i'm not 100 sure okay heck yeah batman Yeah, that one more nice. 1989, yeah, 1980s, late 1980s. And early 1990s, I think too, but at late 1980s, I believe. these really cheap ridiculous price good era of Batman yeah Batman Russia that's dope <laughs> awesome Yeah, pre-nightfall, pre-nightfall.
Remember, there's a lot of propaganda comic books, right? They fight a lot of... Uh, a lot of whoever the bad guy is, right? More Batman? Ooh, don't lose them. This is the new Robin coming in, right? Batman tied to the bottom of a rocket. <laughs> Hardcore. Gunga, love the stream, sir. I'm glad you're enjoying. Nice. We all need to take a break and Jason Todd or Jason Todd, I believe. This is Tim Drake. Tim Drake. I'm bad with names. Tim Drake. This is not a Tim came third, okay. Fun. Let's check this out. Okay, random stack. Recent, these are pull list. Okay, those were comma call, pull list. Or it might be me also just going on the racks and pulling them out. Right. Red Sonia. I think so anyway. This is definitely just me pulling it out off the racks. Seeing a cover and just grabbing it. House of X. Zare, how's it going, brother? Live wire. Valiant. Nice cover. Strange skies over Berlin. I've, I've got a video, video of Knights of Old Comic. Tintin. Do Chicho. Tintin search, you'll find the video I put out regarding my Tintin collection that we brought over from Iran. And uh, after putting up that video, someone commented that uh, those comic books are actually extremely collectible and they're sought after. And then I checked the prices on them and they go for a few hundred bucks. Oops. And they go for a few hundred bucks. So I was like, wow. This is what happens when you pull comic books out to slip. You gotta be careful. Let's make sure we don't mush them up. Snowflake and safe space. No. Whoop. Don't lose it. Valiant again. Visitor. Those Batman covers were a lot of memories. Awesome. Immortal Hulk. Canton. Kanto. Dark. Immortal Hulk. This is like the uh, carnage. Absolute carnage cover. Too dark in this light. Bloodshot.
deadly class still kicking it i can't believe they canceled the series right dr mirage beautiful eh? beautiful cover you heard a mom for us so <laughs> awesome thanks for the compliment i appreciate it Too big of a stack. Bloodshot is getting a new Vin Diesel movie soon. Are they going with uh, Vin Diesel again? I think they released the Bloodshot movie today. This is a tribute to uh, for the first appearance of Swamp Thing, right? Love a Chicho comic call. Relica, this is a tribute to Deadly Class, number one. Okay, Relics of Youth. It is, I believe it's out now too, yeah. This say safe, safe Sex, this one says. Oh, another Wonder Woman, nice. I gotta put this with the other ones. I'm trying to put all the Wonder Woman covers together. And I've been collecting a lot of, I'm pulling everything Altura. These guys, I'm pulling all their comics, their name. They have them priced really cheap, 99 cents or $1.50. And I like supporting independence. So I'm pulling all their books just because. Okay. I'm gonna put this uh, Wonder Woman here so I can put it back as soon as we sort this out check this out like compare the weight on these these are silver age and the weight on the hard one on these ones so different so different this is sergeant fury and the howling commandos Sergeant Fury and Allen Commandos. That was number 14. This one was number 19. This is number 24. Right. Wall book for, I don't know what a wall book purchase is. Night of Old Comics. <laughs> nice. this stuff is classic okay these wonder woman i gotta put it with the wonder woman covers so i'm just gonna put them there i want to create a wall with those covers on there oh here's another Here's a two more. They were out of order, so if there is any order, <laughs> right? Cool. In the desert to die. You might see multiple copies of books. Ready? Oh, this one wasn't the multiple copy. I have multiple copies of that one. This is the black series. I had this on my wall, but I pulled it down. This is a fantastic series. Okay. And I put them in Mylar. I, when I put books up on the wall, like the ones you see up here, oops, over there, doop, over there, uh, they're in Mylar. Okay. So the UV lights don't damage them. This cover, you've seen this cover. This is one of the most brilliant covers. Uh, like, really, absolutely amazing cover. One of the, 
powerful covers of all time. Strange fruit. Thanks, Zara. Books always look best when you present them. I love them, right? That's why. Donkey Kong. But black. Wall book equals expensive key book, usually behind count. Oh, wall book. I don't know. I don't know. What's the most expensive wall book I wrote? I don't know. I didn't buy too many wall books. I bought some. Uh, but I never dropped. What's the most expensive? I don't know. I bought some. Grendel uh, Grendel one two three as a set right this is valiant Psy Lords not most expensive just your first oh my first Ooh, do I remember my first what was my first what was my first? Not Frank Cancel. Have you read Cosmic Ghost Rider? I read the one or two issues. One issue, not two issues, one issue. I've heard it's supposed to be fantastic. X Men 98. Oh, for 850, that's it. Knights of Old Comic, that's a great price. Wow. Once in the future. X Men 98. This is a beautiful cover as well. First appearance of Sergeant Cole, I think. I bought multiple copies of this. This is supposed to be a fantastic series, by the way. Okay. G.I. Joe number one, Martin. That's cool. This is a beautiful cover. House of X. House of X. Terra comics were these the daredevil comics you got in your first uh, haul video no no these are later those daredevil comics we got on our first haul video all of those from the silk they were basically all from the silver 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 age and those were an amazing buy spot of tea those were a great buy these are all all alterna comics intelligent blueberry how you doing oh good evening chicho streaming tonight streaming tonight how's your tooth brother did you get a hold of uh, somebody gi joe number 21 to 50 was an amazing run 21 is a silent run is it not Altera, these guys are printing on newsprint, which is fantastic, actually. Did you hear that? Uh, oh, Dime is not going to be shipping any comics. Yeah, they should hold off. Like on Wednesday, I'm not going to go to the comic book store. I'm doing social distancing right 
I've only been in contact with one hospital and they didn't have an in-house dentist. Uh, I think 811 in Canada is the number you want to dial to get the health emergency stuff. ABC Warrior, yeah. Death or Glory. Rick Reminder, I believe. Oh, more there, level. <laughs> more there, level. I don't know why I bought so many. Well, I know why I bought so many, but sometimes I just go crazy. Venom. Love wire. Fantastic character. Fallen world, right? This character is fantastic too from Rai. From Valiant Comics. Immortal Hulk. Right. Legion of Superheroes. Bendis, Venom. Doesn't look like you have Spider-Man in this. Uh, Spider-Man <laughs> in this box. Whoop! I do have in the other boxes. I'm pretty sure. Kanto. But I do love my independence. I just like supporting independence a lot. Right. Mountain head. Madam. <laughs> Chicho, where do you store your comics? Like are they everywhere but labeled labeled? No intelligent blueberry. Or are they in single room? Um scattered a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not organized enough for that. Oh, I just go through boxes and rearrange. If I ever get a big, big house with one room dedicated to comics, I'll sort the stuff out. Batman. I love independence. Nice. Live wire. Venom. Yeah, for sure. This run is amazing. I took it off my pull list though. I, I went to the comic book store um, two weeks ago and I said, look, it's getting serious. I'm pulling, you know, cancel almost everything uh, except for the Valiance and one or two other titles. And I told them that, look, we're most likely going to go in lockdown. So uh, just want to let you know. So I try to give the comic book store uh, heads up as soon as I could. So stuff is not piling up, right? Canto. Pretty violent. Pretty violent. Nice. The white tree. Punk Mumbo Valiant <laughs> That was a violent cover <laughs> Toyo Harada Valiant One of the best villains in comic books Cover. Uh, 
Bloodshot. Look at the smile on his face. Blown shit up. Blown things up. E Man and the Masters of the Universe. E Man and the Masters of the Universe. Had to get, had to get. Okay, let me pull these guys out. And rearrange these guys. One more shuffle. Just keep on shuffling. Scotty Young is fantastic, right? Legion of Superheroes. These are sought after, so. I'm not sure where they'll go. After the pandemic, who knows? But certain books are important to get. Doomsday clock. This is the last one. Number 12. Venom. Venom Island. Psy Lords. This is the first uh, Moira showing her powers, right? That's why I grabbed some extra copies. The Doomsday stuff, uh, not as far as I know, Spider-Man. They're just basically going for cover price or less, but... Uh, oh, the Doomsday stuff? Uh, or the Doomsday Clock? The Doomsday Clock, you mean, I think, right? The Doomsday, for sure, the, for Superman, the first appearances. Yeah, I'm collecting the Venom, the most recent run, right? Coffin Bell. Yeah, Doomsday Clock, no, they're just going for regular. You should be able to get a good deal on them if you want. It's a good read. This is a good Joker cover. This is cover. Believe anyway. Like Venom was one on my poll list, right? Oh, one more. The Joker one is cool. Very cool. Okay. That's Sort the sounds. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on this so we can bring over one of those boxes in the back. Okay. So, did we decide which one we're going to look through? Which one should we look through, gang? One to ten. Chicho, I'm using Mary Kondo's method to reduce my comics to only 500 bucks. I don't know that method. And I don't want to, I personally don't want to reduce my books to 500 bucks. I love my books. <laughs> I'm not just collecting for value sake. I'm collecting because I love comic books right i have books in my collection that they're not worth mere very much but i wouldn't sell them right we got number eight we got number six which joker book is that that's the deceased one i believe the variant cover was it variant but i think it came out oh i think i just buried it again where is it got buried brother 
<laughs> oh, here it is. This is, this is variant cover for deceased number four. Okay. D C E A S E D number four. Okay. Take a look. I'm going to try to get rid of the glare. It's like zombies. We got seven, seven, six, seven, seven. Okay, I'm gonna count the numbers. See, see what's what. What do we got? How many sixes? How many sevens? We got eight, six, seven, seven, two sevens, three sevens, three sixes, four sevens, seven. Seven is the winner. Seven is it? Seven wins. Let's get number seven. Oh, right in the corner. Easy peasy. Sip, uh, not a sip, a spoonful of uh, applesauce again. Okay, oops, I <laughs> bring it over here. I'm thinking it through a computer, All right? Homemade applesauce I made. My pleasure, Spider Man. She's a woman from a uh, from Japan who writes on decluttering. Oh, that person, yeah, keep only stuff that uh, brings joy. All my comic books bring me joy. <laughs> My stuff brings me joy, All right? Chicho, when it comes to DC and Marvel characters, how can I know what story is canon and oh, good question. Um, very difficult. <laughs> uh, Intelligent Blueberry, they switched it up so many times. You have to look online like i really there are some that stand out that they are canon but i find out that something that i thought happened they changed it up and it didn't happen again so very confusing <laughs> your stream brings me joy <laughs> awesome so let's take a look look at this look at this let's pull them let's pull them Okay. Let me do. Let me show you this one now, because I flip one. The way I do it is, I I put the comics on the ends facing in, so that way in the holes of the comics, nothing is facing out, right? So this is this one. I'm gonna put it back. Roku. Number one, All right? And then let's pull out these guys. Dr. Mirage. Beautiful. Family tree. Jeff Lemire. Unsacred. Pretty uh, interesting cover. Venom. Wretches. I don't knock these guys over. <clears throat> BB free. RV nine. Batman number 14, Flex Manello, 
What's in Batman number 14, Martin? I don't know you. I didn't know you collected so many waters. Yeah, for sure. I've gone through a major buying stint in the last uh, six years or so, six, seven years. There's some amazing books being put out, really. They're, the caliber of comic books being put out is unbelievable. We're going through a major golden age of comics, right? And this is the first series of Flex Mandelo uh, solo series, and he's the is is in the uh, Doom Patrol uh, TV series, right? Original round 2016. The clock. Reno Mike, how are you doing? Spider Man beautifully said a lot of amazing independent stuff being made into TV and movies. Really awesome. Really awesome. Really. It, it's a, an amazing time to be alive if you're a comic book collector. Right? Amazing time to be alive. I used to watch your math ASMR videos around six years ago. Crazy to see you on Twitch. Awesome. Wheat, wheat, Bick. How are you doing? This is a beautiful cover, by the way. I think this is someone's killing the children. I hope you learned your mathematics, by the way. <laughs> wheat. Have a good day, y'all. Have a good day, Wheat. Immortal Hulk. Killers. You guys pick one where it's basically all modern. All from uh, most of these are going to be from my poll list. <laughs> it's like it's like a lottery. What's in the what's in that box? Live wire. Hello everyone, hope all is well. Doing good chase. Hope you're doing well. Legion of superheroes. Amazing fantasy number 15, five went for 25 grand only. That's how illiquid the the market is right now. Knights of Old Comic, it's a great time to buy comic books. 129, it's the first Punisher, yeah. I'm a, I'm a math post-grad now, nice. And when I was watching your videos, I hadn't even started uni yet. I also hated math as a kid too. Oh, I'm so glad you pursued it. Things change, haha, -ha. awesome, awesome. Glad to hear. Just went past 420 in UK. <laughs> nice. Wasted space. I have the first, uh, I just recently canceled this. I had the first 15 issues of this or something. Beautiful artwork. Yeah, they could be knights of old but amazing fantasy number 15 for 25k that's a great price batman 14 first case batman fails to solve really the only way i'll be able to afford it me too <laughs> me too Black cat. Vampirella. New blood. Uh, because in the 
because liquidity has dropped out of the market we talked about this uh, spider-man uh, personal finance videos uh, we mentioned that liquidity is huge right that's why we mentioned the few times over the last few months or last few years cash is king maybe even a 0.5 chicho wonder what they would cost if i can get my hands on a 0.5 amazing fantasy number 15 for a few hundred bucks man i'd do it i would do it well not right now i can't afford it but i would do it You should too. Economy and people losing jobs. Yeah, money shot. Hello, Chicho. Hello, VC. How are you doing? Cash is king. I have two thousand pounds in my wallet. Nice, Martin. Cider title. <laughs> First police. Yeah, I have the trade paperbacks. I read uh, I read the first trade half of it and it was getting a little depressing and stuff and I wasn't into depressing so I stopped reading it flippers will start to purge recent non rare spec bucks yeah for sure there's gonna be people But if prices are dropping amazing fa amazing fantasy number 15 they're dropping on everything right they're dropping on everything like literally not just comic books but houses stocks everything right? everything's sick one more question around what age did you start collecting comics what age did i start collecting comics seriously university intelligent blueberry I started collecting comics seriously in late 80s late 80s early 90s martin i'm gonna patreon but i hate online money transfers yeah i'm not a fan of them either brother i'm not a fan of them either and it'll really suck if they try to take everything uh digital right currency undiscovered country right that being said knights of old okay the the print runs for new comics are incredibly low right are incredibly low so a lot of current comics they're hard to find like recent comics their print runs are like they're lucky if they're breaking five thousand right so ebay amazing fantasy number 15 cgc.5 is listed for eight thousand nine hundred you could probably grab that for based on what the market's doing you could probably grab that for 3200 <laughs> that's maybe I traded Magic the Gathering cars for tons of key Silver Age uh, silver books in the late 90s. Nice. Some of those Magic cars are going for a pretty penny, though. Another late stream. I must confess, I'm falling asleep again because it's 12.30. Coolio, if you need to sleep, go to sleep. Sleeping is not a bad idea. Oh, here's my black camera. Check this out. Okay, hold on. Let me show you these guys. And I'm going to show you the same comic book, a whole bunch of them. I grabbed two copies of Oogie. I want to find one for three, three grand. Entry level amazing fantasy number 15 won't drop below five, five K anytime soon. Yeah, if it drops below, like if you can get it at 3,200, man, you just got a deal and a half. It's around 4 30 here. I'm starting to struggle. Spot of tea, go to sleep. 
go to sleep. Okay, I mentioned that I buy some comic books to give away to students and I've already given two copies of this comic book away. And I grabbed this because it's one of the multiple copies of this because it's one of the best series uh, that has come out in the last two decades, right? Black Hammer, and this was a reprint of three number one issues for a dollar so it's a great gift and i've already one of my students that i've given it to he already he's he's like man i loved it right and the kid went to the library got his hands on one of the trays and read it right so i grabbed one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i got one copy for myself 13 and i gave two away 15 right so i grabbed 15 copies of this so i could give to students and if you remember last year i went to a school and i did a sort of a presentation regarding comic books um, and if i had these then i would have given it to them then right so i might be called back to do another one and i'm going to give these to them as a gift I just gotta make sure they don't get lost. What number is this? Number seven. <laughs> right. Chicho, I've always wanted to ask. When you started collecting comics, did you just go with what appealed to? Yeah, for sure. Or did you predict which books would be high value later? In other words, do you collect more for the fun and enjoyment or fun and profit? Uh I started collecting because of uh fun, right? I went to a secondhand bookstore and I saw the Flash series and I grabbed a whole bunch because I love the Flash. So I read that and then I went to uh, a comic book store and I got back into collecting comic books in the hard way, serious collecting because of my brother. He got me into collecting again. Okay. And this book is signed. This is this is by a local. Uh, he's a comic book. Uh, owner and he's been in the comic industry for like I don't know a long time 25 years or so and this is his comic book okay it's his characters and stuff like this okay uh, Gareth Goodin nice guy huge collection okay this is a pretty fun read Port of Earth and I believe it's been optioned Port of Earth. This is number six to eight or five to seven. Five to seven. Again, alternate comics. Penguin. Make me want all the books of all comic books. Coolio. If I had the money, if I had the space, I'd buy. It'd just be amazing, right? Just imagine having a house specially dedicated to comic books where people can just come and read comic books. That'd be super phenomenal, right? Strange Adventures. I'm bad <laughs> Pango cover as well. What's that from? That's from Deceased as well, I believe. This is the first appearance of a uh, character from Miss Marvel. So I grabbed three copies, I think. Maybe two copies. And this is like the first issue and the first appearances of many characters. So for the long run, it's worth grabbing some extra. How do you organize? I don't, Julio. I used to when I went to shows and stuff in the 90s and sold some comic books as just an independent collector. Just did a few of them and it was good. Here's another one. You should add some Doctor Strange stuff. I should. 
I should add a lot of a lot of things, Spider-Man. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna show you a Doctor Strange stuff. Oh, you're gonna love this, Spider-Man. It's in one of those boxes, but you gotta pick the right one. <laughs> Eastman had a comic book museum in the '90s. You could go there. Uh, and see all kinds of OG old school comic art and draw. Yeah, I would love to do that one day. It was amazing. Words and pictures museum. Yeah, I would love to do that, man. So, how do you remember where a comic you want to read is? That's the that's the beauty of having a collection like this uh, you surprise yourself you just go into a box and go hey what do i got here venom and sometimes i rebuy stuff if i don't know where it is i want to read it i rebuy it right if i want to read it again it means it was really good right so i buy it Johnny the homicidal maniac. It's upside down, man. I gotta put it right side up. What's going on? Johnny the homicidal maniac number three. It's the second print though. And I bought it for 25 cents this one. Evil Ernie. Oh, I wish I had Evil Ernie. I wish I had Evil the original run. I don't have any of the original run it was coming out when i when i was going into the conventions and stuff and i have a comic book i had a comic book publishing company and there was a, at least two conventions we went to where we had of our we had our artists and stuff and we were uh we had our comic books that we were selling and signing and stuff like this i was a publisher the artists and stuff were uh were there uh, and the evil Ernie people were there so two conventions with uh, evil Ernie people there and uh, lady uh, death death oh my god I forgot the name Iman and the Masters Universe sounds like a little mini Xmas every time yeah all old dark horse 90s yeah hexagon these are these are basically you guys picked like the most recent undiscovered country the journey in searching for the comic becomes almost as fun as the destination yeah you find things along the way right any red hood in that collection uh bit of a fanboy here red hood um not here i don't think so it might be well most likely it is in my older stuff uh, but not in these ones that's box number seven where should we go to next game where should we go to next I don't know I, you gotta pick it knights of old comic you guys gotta pick it i can't pick it for you <laughs> number six reno mike says remember the magazine ones they're magazines but they have comic books in them as well okay so don't think that the magazines don't have comic books they do but they are magazines as well number four number two number one number three oh they're all different let's put this guy here what do we got what do we got number three number one <laughs> lights of comic one one six two one i don't see any pattern i got how many ones we got six four two one 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 i think one's winning one it is one it is let's do number one okay let me take a sip of tea one it is i'm gonna have a 
spoonful of uh, my applesauce, give me some energy. Rick the vote night just repeat is that what he did oh my god he did too he rigged, rigged the post i just was counting the ones wait he did it he did it three times he actually did it four times in the same comment he posted it twice is that what we're going with? we're going with number one man he went out of his way to get it done let's do it let's do it should maybe put this guy down do you guys like it like this ah, let's do it like this oh look at this look at this look at this look at this oh look at this look at this <laughs> oh, look at this nice 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 what are these guys oh nice okay so let's start off because i have magazines and comics I have little bubbles to keep in the comics tight, right? So they don't bang around and stuff. Okay, let's do. Okay, let me put this guy here. We're gonna do the comics first, yeah? Spot of tea, you're out. Sweet dream, spot of tea. Gonna head to bed, I think. Might keep watching without using chat. See you all Thursday. See you Thursday, spot of tea. Let's do the comics In first. And they're more recent. These are recent comics. Oh, wayward, right on. <laughs> I can't, let me do this. Let me try to get organized a little bit. There we go. I think I showed you guys these ones. Take a look. These are Injection by Ellis Chicho. Who was your favorite superhero as a kid? I love the Flash man. Uh, and who's your favorite now? Uh, I love the Flash. Uh, you know, I loved Wolverine and uh, X Men, I was really into, but the Flash from DC. Uh, I really liked. Uh, but right now, my favorite characters are from the Valiant universe. Really. Well, I'll show you some. Archer and Armstrong I really like. Gabad. Been a while since I've stopped by. How's life been under these circumstances? Pretty good so far. Right now, we're all stuck at home looking at comic books, right? Why not? These are beautiful covers, right? Let's throw that question to the group. Yeah, throw the what is a solid choice. And if the flash exists. No. What's up, Night of Old? Why no? Yeah, who's everybody's favorite uh character? His power which shattered the universe with all the laws of physics they break 100 <laughs> but it is comic books right we need pre-death of superman uh there is sorry knights of old do you want pre-death of superman the magazines here are pre-death for sure And bound, I got three bound books here. Reno Mike, Ghost Rider. Love Ghost Rider. My favorite spirit of Chicho. These are beautiful comics, man. Like, seriously. I hate Spider Man. The Punisher is awesome. 
Kuli, or you're supposed to be going to sleep, aren't you? I've always been a sucker for Batman, yeah, and the most of the Justice League heroes. I used to love the Teen Titans. Here, this series, Knights of Old, check this out. This series is one of the. Here, yeah, let me put them together. Is an amazing series, one of the greatest series of all time. Uh, Archer and Armstrong from Valiant Comics. Okay, let me pull them out. And, okay, we're just going to do this one. I'm not going to try to organize right now. That's crazy. <laughs> this Lobo, Lobo for sure, was my favorite for long shot. DC equals Lobo equals Bloodshot. Yeah, Lobo, phenomenal, right? But this series, Archer and Armstrong series, is absolutely one of the greatest series ever written right it's phenomenal i've been searching for just a chance to buy an old canadian comic book from around five years now which comic book the canadian edition comics are going for mint price right now or they have been they were like three weeks ago this series if you like humor is phenomenal in bed okay cool coolio you should don't don't type this is fantastic yes supposed to go to sleep yes tired not really <laughs> oh let me put these guys back i'll pull, pull out the rest of the comics This is uh, Wayward 2, 6, and 7, and I have 1, 3, 4, and 5 up there on the wall. It was a fun read. It's not the whole series, but it's the first 7. Great read. Wayward. Wayward. Let me put these guys here so I don't knock stuff over. Here's more Archer and Armstrong. The 1%. <laughs> like, seriously, awesome. Triumph Comics, number seven. Uh, oops, let me put this guy here. Triumph Comics, number seven. And. Nelvana number one from 1942. Oof, Knights of Old Comic. Those ones go for mint. The Golden Age Canadian Edition comics. I have a handful. I have a handful. And they're. The funny thing is, like 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, they weren't going for a huge price. Yeah, the Canadian ones, the one with the white covers, uh, white front back cover back cover or whatever it is is that what they call them canadian whites how long has image comics been around 1991 i believe or 92 i heard about them shortly after walking dead show came out i want to get into their older stuff uh their older stuff wasn't that good really from the 1990s they the art was okay but the stories were horrendous <laughs> really bad <laughs> there wasn't any stories really uh, the artwork was the 1990s it's the artwork that was pushing it all right well the hype anyway image comics has been around since the early 1990s yeah big trouble in little china big trouble in little china you guys would have seen this i think i showed you guys this in a comic book haul we got these at a really good, great price. I've got some Archer and Armstrong trays. 
And that's a weird comic too. Very weird. Very awesome. What's your highest graded comic book? Highest graded? Like grading wise? Like I only have a handful. Like I think I got like 10 or 11 CGC graded comics. Uh, it'd be like 9.6, 9.8. Do you have any Nelvana Golden Age? I will pay my... No. No. I have... Uh, I don't know what I got, man. <laughs> I really don't. But we've collected a uh, through the comic book haul videos we've done i made an intention to collect books from all different uh decades really there's some books we bought from the 1940s as well during our comic book haul videos let me show you this these are bound copies okay these are bound copies of this is warlock i gotta take it out i gotta show it to you guys take a look at this so this is a bound copy of warlock the silver age warlocks right leather bound and they're beautiful copies right take a look right like amazing copies leather bond i'm putting my fingerprints all over it but it's my collection <laughs> right i'm not gonna get rid of it anytime soon right warlock starlin or earlier starlin is it starlin no it's it's starlin take a look right power of warlock right number one i forget i think goes to number seven right like i can't i can't hold it up i, I don't want to do damage to it right Dale. like i don't want to i'm showing it to the computer for some reason right basically and let me see which which issue handbound centennial it says here like i love the newsprint i wish all comic books were newsprint awesome oh, look at this i'll show you i'll show you take a look take a look awesome awesome and it goes to issue number oh come on where's the cover the ads the ads look at this there it is number eight awesome take a look leather bound beautiful Let me put this guy back. I got a couple other bounds in here. Who was it that said Doctor Strange? Who said Doctor Strange? Spider-Man, I think you said Doctor Strange. Let me show you Doctor Strange bound. D 
these guys are Doctor Strange. Okay. The first 30 issues of the series, volume one to volume two. I missed out on getting volume three and number four. Okay. So I could have got all 60 issues, but I was outbid. I bought these on auction on eBay. Okay. And beautiful copies. I'll show you in volume number one. Okay. They're mint, leather bound. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I've sealed it up because it was thick. I've got tape on there. Do you guys want to see it? Should I crack it open? Do you guys want to see it? Let me know. If you guys want to see it, I'll crack it. Yeah? You need some gloves. I need some gloves. <laughs> no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. You don't have to open it. See it, see it, see it, see it. I think so, man. I'm good. Like, I'm not, like, unless I hit some hard times, these things are not going to be leaving my collection. No, it's meant. Do all that. You must smell it, though. <laughs> Mark is saying no. Okay, should we open or no? You guys tell me, man. Ah, beautiful. The, the newsprint is amazing. The newsprint smell is amazing. No, we got one open. We got one no. How many yeses and how many noes? I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll have a sip of tea. No, big no. Do, oh, we got two two do it and one no. Let's do life's too short. <laughs> oh man, this, I'm cracking it. That was a seller for me. Life's too short. You guys got to take it, check it out. I'm going to grab an exacto knife. Hold on. We got to do, we got to do. We just got to do carefully. Reno is like, no, YOLO, you only live once. Okay, crack that. Yeah, Martin. Martin's in. We sold it to Martin. can't even buy gloves all gloves are sold out everywhere <laughs> comics graph for L. thanks for opening the show my pleasure spider-man look at this right. beautiful beautiful Beautiful, beautiful. Right? right. Ah, yes. Right? Oh, did you hear the crack? <laughs> awesome. Knights of Old will know this. Who wrote this? I forget who the Wolfman? <laughs> okay. Awesome. It's seriously amazing. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. You have gloves at work, Martin. Send them my way. It is Barry Smith, Barry Windsor Smith. Editor is Marv Wolfman. 
inks. Where's the pencils? Hey, where's the pencils on this? Number 10, look at this. Beautiful though, guy. Really. I wish I had all 60. Dude, they were selling all four volumes, right? All four volumes. This thing's focused. All four volumes. And I got my hands on the first two. The, the number three and number four got sold. Uh, someone else grabbed them. Okay. Beautiful. I'll package this up later. I'm going to put this somewhere safe. And the second volume. Right? We won't crack open the second volume. Brunner art. Is it Brunner? Okay, cool. Now, let me show you some of those things. Oh, oh, Knights of Old, you're going to love these. Not this one, but the next two coming up. This is Scotty Young. Okay. I Hate Fairyland, and it is a fantastic series. If you haven't read this, read I Hate Fairyland. It's violent, it's awesome, it's funny, it's fantastic. Okay. And this is a signed edition. It was limited to, uh, limited to 500 copies. Okay. And I grabbed this because I like it. I like Scotty Young, right? I may be thinking of someone else. Print media engages the senses in a way that digital media simply cannot match. I agree. I agree. Okay. I love the smell and feel of beautiful books. And yeah, just uh, holding in your hand, right? Now, these ones are just. Uh, coins and stuff so I'm gonna put these guys away okay. check this out check this out I I had before thought about it Knights of Old where are you Knights of Old comics ready for this we've done readings of these two books they're two of the i think in the second set of readings we read from these okay the first book by the way knights of old knights of old the first comic book reading i did was mystic number six by uh, basil uh basil wolf wolf oh i'm crappy with names eye of doom okay 1952 i believe we did it Wolver wolverton basil wolverton that was the first comic book reading i ever did right i had to share that one eye of doom ready ready you know these comics EC Comics, Weird Science Fantasy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> These are the, uh, the annuals they put out, right? This is, this is the first annual. This one. EC Baby. EC Baby. Knights of Old, I have a frame with six ec comic books all from 1952 in there we've done a reading of this apologies about the glare but they're in mylar okay phenomenal phenomenal right i can almost guarantee you the prices on ec comic books have not dropped very much because of this any Wallywood art? Yes, there is. I love Wallywood. Wallywood is one of the greatest artists of all time. Phenomenal. Wallywood is one of my favorite writers of all time. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab a trade paperback I have. I'm gonna bring it down and show it to you. If you like Wallywood, okay. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Okay.
this was a collection that they put together recently of Wally Wood, okay? And Wally Wood, just phenomenal, both independent, underground, and science fiction. Wally Wood, Strange Worlds of Science Fiction. Right, fantastic, fantastic. Phenomenal, nice, indeed, 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 right? We've actually, by the way, Knights of Old, we've done readings of Wallywood comics in the comic book readings we've done. One of the Wallywood comics readings we did was a romance comic, Golden Age romance comic. I just got an amazing Wallywood book a couple of weeks ago. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> like phenomenal phenomenal Ooh. right monster god of rogor beautiful beautiful Fantastic. He was an amazing inker, maybe second best. Who do you think who do you say the best? Knights of Old Comics, who do you think the best? The best inker art for Zeta. Wow. For Zeta the best inker, eh? Cool. Okay, let me put this guy here. Let's continue with this box. Okay, these are in comic books. Well, one of them is. Spider-Man. Did you say Spider-Man? Spider-Man. <laughs> old school, old school. Time to work on my comic tomorrow. Corona Man. <laughs> Coolio, you haven't slept yet. <laughs> Check this out. Now. Check these out. Wow. Any skateboarders out there? He worked on some EC side. Yeah. The Frazetta EC covers go for mint. So expensive. Thrasher. Thrasher. Sorry, getting a little delirious. Thrasher. Nice. Oh, I got two of these. Awesome. Skateboarder here. Awesome. Oh, I got one here you're going to love. Suicidal Tendencies cover, I believe. Glad to see your son. Zara, how's it going? Looks like I missed a good book. Yeah. You missed a some EC books I'm gonna collect every spider-man book in existence and I thought I I've seen every single one I've never seen a magazine spider-man issue first time I've ever seen a spider book that I don't know <laughs> there's so much stuff out there man nice used to collect Thrasher great magazine by the way great magazine i had a friend who was photographer for that mag nice and he took me uh with him on many photograph photo shoots nice dang i'd really love to get some of those and they're pretty good shape Mad Magazine? Yeah. I have some Mad Magazine. I have some Mad Magazine in a magazine box somewhere. <laughs> in, a, 
in a, in a magazine box somewhere. <laughs> nice. How often do I sell trade? Uh, I don't sell often. I mean, the last time we sold some comic books in the last few months just to collect some data so we could do ASMR math, right? And I had to pay back some debts, so I sold some, so I paid off some debts, right? Um, but the time before that that I sold comics would have been like 18 years ago when I first got on eBay in 2002, right? Okay, hold on, let me put this one back. I'm off to Forbidden Planet tomorrow to buy comic, <laughs> some comics. It's been too long. Martin, once you get hooked, it's over, man. It's over. Okay, I gotta put this guy down. Let me put this guy down. I gotta remember to put the, the bound copy in bag and seal it up again. Let's put this guy here. Okay, gang, which one are we going with next? Which one should we go with next? <laughs> I love Spider Man's going number two. Martin's number two. Number six. Number Reno Mike, you want number six bad, man. Mar <laughs> Martin's pulling a <laughs> night so comic. He's saying it twice, three times. <laughs> I love it, love it. How many twos? We got we got four four people going for twos, man. Six 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 Coolio. Two 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 Arino. Which where's number six? Okay, hold on, let's put this guy here. <laughs> number two? Reno, tell you what. We're almost getting to two hours. We're going to do number two. And if you want, if you guys want to hang around, we'll do number six as well. Okay, and then we'll call it, right? Hey, Chicho, how's things? Intrepid, how you doing, Intrepid? Hope you're doing well, brother. Okay, let's do number two. Okay? Okay, done deal. Most of these are magazines. Okay. Most of these are magazines. I will hang uh, until I lose consciousness like I did the last stream nights. <laughs> Let's do number two and six. Okay, you do. <clears throat> okay. Knights of Old Comic. Have you heard of Harvey Kurtzman? <laughs> of course you have. <laughs> this is from his collection, by the way, right? This is from his collection. I bought some comic books that came from his collection, right? This was one of them, okay? Uh, here's an interesting question. I know you really appreciate the physicality of real books, but how much do you value the free exchange of information or literature free i agree uh digital scanning technology makes it easier to share information 100 percent, especially things that would rather otherwise be out of someone's price range like a young person always be making i'll say this straight out i pirate bay right on right cost should not limit people from acquiring information and entertainment if you can afford it buy it support your artists support creators support support people you enjoy who are sharing authentic information but if you can't afford it for me i provide everything i do for free and the reason i do it is because i'm sharing what i love and i want that information to go out right if people can support me financially fantastic 
and that's the way I treat everybody else when I there's been times in my life when I can't afford to buy comics I read comics digitally and if I can't afford to buy them and I've never bought a digital comic I sample them I that's what I call it right but when I can afford it again I go and buy right I support independent creators and I'm with you if you want to sample okay that's great Chicho I really appreciate you you and your thoughts oh oh <laughs> okay this is some old older comics you might appreciate these right and we have some magazines <laughs> let me show you what we got <laughs> oldies there are some oldies here you might have seen some of these okay let me arrange these in a way where it makes sense well not so oldie <laughs> it's my box one <laughs> psychoanalysis ec comics ec comics awesome reno mike thank you very much for the support on patreon when i was a kid marvel toys were characters from issues that were insanely expensive indeed judo joe judo joe number one judo joe number one awesome hard to find as far as I know, hard to find. Judo Joe number one. Golden Age of Comics. Golden Age of Comics. Chicho fan meetup need to be at a comic book store. Who says I love Spider Man? Someone says I love Spider Man. Who said I love Spider Man? Who said I love Spider Man? Heger? I don't know Heger. First set up in black costume. Definitely me. <laughs> Tintin. A Tintin? A, do, a, do a search for Chicho and Tintin. I put out a video with Chicho and Tintin okay this is a good box knights of all comic sets <laughs> oh my god hold on to it sorry about that gang scared the crap out of me and you both their keys their keys nice did go they're all in mylar they're okay they how, how, are they high grade they're not high grade they're medium grade they're medium grade medium medium high medium low nice 23 28 this was 23 this one was 23 oops where are we I bought these so cheap back in the day. <laughs> yeah, Tintin and the ones that I have, they're the Persian, Farsi version, right? And from what I understand, they're highly collectible. Oh, look, wait, wait, wait. I forgot about this one. <laughs> because I came from Iran. There, I could only bring a certain amount of stuff when I came from Iran, and the tin tins came with me, right? So, my oldest books in my collection that have been with me the longest are tin tin. Who said they like EC Comics? 
the oldest one oh intelligent blueberry i had number seven but i sold it 20 years ago <laughs> you're welcome spider-man this uh, this was pre-shaw oh not pre-shaw i mean before the shaw got removed pre-revolution yeah before before uh 1978 star spangled comics All right this is number what number is this this is robin's in this by the way robin the boy wonder look how huge that comic coat stamp is <laughs> on the uh on the valor crazy eh? impact i love this cover i think it's an amazing cover impact look at that cover beautiful i have uh, just a handful of manga coolio Nineteen fifty-five. Zark. I don't know if it was first uh, uh, Robin. This is Mystic number five, right? Mystic number five. Great, 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 great series. EC tried to make Comico approve approve cause. Yeah, we read this one. Mystic number five. Basil Wolverton. Eye of Doom what a great comic amazing artwork right amazing 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 let me put these guys here let me sort these guys out so they don't be damaged should we look at the magazines Deadpool? Got any Deadpool? <laughs> Where's our Deadpool? Where's our Deadpool? Yeah, I got some Deadpool somewhere. Where did I where do I have my Deadpool? <laughs> Is this good enough? Ninety-eight, Deadpool ninety-eight, uh, not Deadpool, New Mutants ninety-eight, right? Deadpool kills the Marvel universe. Who said Mad Magazine? Someone said Mad Magazine. Dun, 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 dun. Mad Magazine. Alfred E. Newman for president. This box has everything. <laughs> this country's out of order. This is like, seriously, this should be <laughs> a pretty relevant. Heavy metal. Did you say heavy metal? You got yourself the right box, Reno. You wanted number six. We got number two. I think I'm going to give you some heavy metal. I had more mag Mad Magazine when I was younger, but they're da da. Take it easy, take it easy. no yeah mad was fantastic so did i planet of the apes the new centurion that's the mad collection let me put this Now, we sold 
a set of these. This is Batman's private parts in comics, right? This is a Jim Lee cover. During the when we listed eBay the books on eBay, we sold this one for a hundred. Right? And we sold this one for 80, right? So I bought extra copies, right? Because it was an important book. It's showing Batman's junk, right? Bat wang, right? Bat wang. <laughs> this is the first bat wang. Oh. Boop, boop. Did you say Punisher? Frank Castle. Is Frank Castle still here? yeah yeah it went up in price spider-man i sold uh i sold the jim lee cover one a few months ago for a hundred and the other cover one for uh for 80. great art in those yeah for sure fantastic art rampaging hulk Look at this, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Did you say that you like Mobius? This is Kurtz from Kurtzman's collection. Okay. Harvey Kurtzman's library. This and the next two came from there. any Mobius Mobius I do uh, I might the old school stuff I love the Punisher all we need is Hulk junk now oh my god that'll that'll take down buildings if you ever come to Vegas in the future I'll buy you any issue from John's shop my treat also spider-man i used to go to vegas not anymore jerjowski is great yeah i met jim lee several times always very nice and sincere guy yeah he seems like a very very nice guy i put this one in in a bag this was a good movie i liked it people hated it i liked it valerian Eerie. Did you want eerie? Oh, we don't want to lose this. Yeah, okay. Let me sort this out so we don't lose. Eerie. You didn't like it. I liked it. Yeah, drummer assisted now. He's a huge comic book collector, actually. Huge, huge. He's been collecting comics for a while. Eerie? You never heard of Eerie? Yeah, pretty important. Uh, pretty important series. Where is that now? That now the Northern Lights? <laughs> I don't know. Someone say love Spider Man? Do you love Spider Man? Spectacular Spider Man. Bum ba -ch 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 bum bum. I'm gonna call the night. Intelligent blueberry, sweet dreams, brother. Sweet dreams. Maybe in box number nine. <laughs> yeah. 
Might as well go through all the boxes. That'll be like a 10 hour stream. But you know what? Uh, if you guys like this, we'll do the other boxes during another stream, right? Beautiful. Oh, here's another eerie. Look at that cover. Seriously, sci-fi brilliant. Right? Sci-fi brilliant. Oh, here's another eerie. Here's another eerie. Look at this cover. Look at that cover. Absolutely beautiful. Spider-Man in a box. Chicho, if you could only put one series from the 80s in a time capsule, what would it be? One series from the 80s. Um, you know, I'll go. It has to be with the uh, Alan Moore Swamp thing. Like, it really does. Like, I mean, even though the X Men from that period was absolutely brilliant. I can honestly tell you, the X-Men from that period is absolutely brilliant. But just for the importance of it, uh, I think Swamp Thing would be it. Heck yeah, Twilight Zone magazine, yeah. Epic is amazing. Which one would it be for you, Knights of Old? Do you have uh, First Blade? Yeah, I do have First Blade. Uh, Tomb of Dracula number 10, I do have it. I almost have the complete Dracula run. Good choice. But I have to give it to the Dark Knight. I know why uh, you would say that. Because it redefined Batman, right? But Alan Moore Swamp Thing redefined comic books. It is like number 29 or something. Oh, number 10. Number 10. Dark Knight Returns was good. It was it was a good book. It redefined Batman really. Brought him into the modern age. Made him dark and it it really gave kick-started the whole genre of uh, comic books based on that right kicked it into a more mature level but, but i think personally i think uh, frank miller's best work was uh, daredevil i think daredevil was his best work usually i hear watchman versus dark knight beautiful dude yeah this one beautiful right yeah watch one was incredible absolutely incredible <laughs> did anybody say they want death of Superman, <laughs> right? Death of Superman. Death of Superman. <laughs> the the magazine format one, right? Oh, I have another one here. There's three of them. <laughs> awesome. Scott Snyder, Jeff Lemire. Here, let me put these in order. Book three, book one, book two. Book one. I have all three versions. Nice. Of which one? Of these? Martin? 
I hate Superman. Do you hate Superman? I used to. The death of Superman was a great, like, really, it was epic. One of the greatest stories ever told in comics. It gets a lot of, uh, a lot of hate, but death of Superman, the story that they told was fantastic. Really. I would love to try the fungus that falls off swamp thing. Yeah, Zare seems like a crazy trip according to more. <laughs> Exo Man of War calendar. Had to be done. Oh, you guys, check this out. I'm going to show you my poster collection at some point, right? I have them all on one side. I just have to make time to make, to show you, to do the video. Comic Magazine 1984. This image, I have the poster for this. It was one of the first posters I ever bought, and it was on my wall for two decades it's the most beat up poster i have in my collection and this is the cover this is the poster that i have and i couldn't believe that this was on a cover i had no idea i went to a comic show and i flipped through there was flipping through the back issues and boxes and i saw this i was like oh, my eye like seriously my mouth dropped fun it's not it's a magazine 1984 Excalibur I liked Excalibur really I read a lot of Excalibur master of terror do you like Richard Corbin Richard Corbin Richard Corbin Richard Corbin Richard Corbin is that Corbin like the politician hard broiled this is fantastic by the way fantastic Frank Miller right really it's really really good this is book number two okay it's almost breakfast there great Miller Here's issue number one. If you like hard boiled type of stories, this is it. Very good, beautiful artwork. Did it take nine years to come out? I didn't know that. And who was it that said they like heavy metal? Heavy metal, I don't have that many. I used to have a lot more. I don't anymore. It's the first time I came across Bisley's work actually. Simon Bisley. Beautiful. For science fiction fans, science fiction fantasy, heavy metal. Reno, yeah, it was you. That's right, that's right. Are you happy we did book two? We'll do book six after very nice very nice indeed i loved heavy metal i used to read heavy metal a lot when i was a kid i wish i kept all my all my issues yeah fantastic right. beautiful okay that's this box Let me put these guys back, these guys back, arrange the stuff properly. Good box. No Playboy, no, but I have, uh, what did I have here? Oh, I, sh I had one book that I didn't show you in the other one. Here, let me show you in the other one. Hold on. I don't know why it's in there, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this one too. <laughs> and I actually know why this is in there. It was a hand-me-down. It was someone, uh, it was someone's that I cared about. So I put it in my collection. Okay. So let me put these guys back. Good box, good box. Anyone know a comic run based on a virus outbreak asking for a friend? Um, there is one called Virus actually that Dark Horse put out. I think it was Dark Horse, but it's about a technological virus uh, that infects a ship. And they actually ended up making a movie uh, out of it. I don't know if the movie came out first or, or um, the comic book. It's actually called Virus, and it's about uh, this virus hitting the electronics of a ship and it starts killing people. So it's not a pandemic type of virus. down with love and I has to be has to be kept <laughs> figuratively and literally <laughs> awesome Okay, gang number six we do why the last man about a virus oh it is yeah actually why why the last man actually walking dead is about a virus too really mask books yeah i do i have the original mask from dark horse for sure spider-man great series why the last one is a great series fables is, is as well number six applesauce I love the mask the mask is awesome oh you guys might have seen these yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have seen these in a comic book haul that we did, but we do again. These are all recent, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Number nine is that. <laughs> what are your partner's favorite comics? Uh, Wonder Woman. She loves Wonder Woman. Jason Aaron, Wolverine.
Jason Aaron was one a phenomenal writer. I haven't read this series actually, but I've heard good things about it. <clears throat> I liked love the Logan movie. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was really good. Oh, Martin, this is a good movie. Watch it. You'll love it. Or you'll like it at least. It was a fun movie. It was greedy. One of the best comic book movies ever made. Yeah, it was fantastic. By the way, if you want to watch an amazing comic book, that a movie that was... Uh, based on a comic book uh, watch history of violence history of violence is fantastic the movie was intense and then I found out it was uh, based on a comic book and the comic books even more intense Neil Gaiman I believe Neil Gaiman 1602 I'm not a halfway guy, it's love or hate. History of violence. I love 1602 so much. Nice. Neil Gaiman, he, he doesn't disappoint, really. Right? Vigia, yeah. It's him, the actor. And he, I like that actor, actually. I like his politics. And I like his acting. I liked his acting, and then I heard his politics. I was like, damn, I like this guy. They're planning on doing a Sandman series. We'll see. We'll see. Cafe owner turned hero. Watch it, Martin. Don't read anything about it. Just watch it. Really, just watch it. It's slow. It's trippy. You don't know where it's going. I think they're planning on making a gan game in the uh, series. But who knows? Now that the liquidity has gone, disappeared from markets, uh, a lot of things might get canceled, right? Spider-Man 3, I know that wasn't very good. <laughs> Frankenstein. This is supposed to be really good. I forget who the writer is for it. Oh yeah, Jeff Lemire. And we got all of these at an amazing price, right? I think we got them at a dollar each or something. We did a we did a comic book video on these. And per we do uh, per unit, per comic when we did the hauls for these and they were amazing price that we ended up getting up for right and this is what happens right now i've cut back a lot on my comic book uh, buying right so I, I have a stack of comics i'm trying to get through once i get through those i might come and grab one of these series and these are complete what i have here i bought complete runs right i might just sit down and start reading them 
You hate it, but you love it. Nice. Agent of Shade. This is supposed to be absolutely amazing. And I ended up getting this whole series. I don't think they're all here. No, they're not all here. The Unknown Soldier by Dysart. This is supposed to be phenomenal. Right? Like this cover, look at this stuff. So beautiful, right? world final issue and this is supposed to be amazing as well Northlanders and I have the full run here I believe I'm adding all of your recommendations to my wish list oh <laughs> there's so many spider-man this is supposed to be really good as well like their story arcs and different writers hop on and tell different stories. Again, I haven't had a chance to read this. We got it. I got an amazing deal on it. A dollar a pop Canadian, like 75 cents each or something. Personally, I think Spider-Man 3 is the pinnacle of comic book films, followed by Haley Berry's Catwoman. <laughs> Spectral shot. <laughs> I didn't even bother with that one. Ali Berry's Catwoman. Oh my god. Give someone an Oscar and it's the kiss of death. Vertigo. Vertigo no more. Oh, here's the rest of Unknown Soldier. Here's one more Northlander. They're not organized, but I do have them all. Pretty sure I have them all. I might be missing a couple of issues here and there. <laughs> Electra. <laughs> Funny. Do not watch those movies. Wrong. Number one, the 1980s. Captain America film, then the Daredevil film, then Batman vs. Superman. That was the last thing I suppose. Unknown Soldier. Northlander. I mix these guys up. Don't ask me why. It just happens. If you're ever in a position that you're locked down, it's a good thing to have comic books at home, especially when the libraries are closed. And people ask me why I collect comic books. Was that Captain America, that brutal Captain America movie, 1990? Oh my God. The Spider-Man movie from 1970s or 1980s, that was crazy brutal. <laughs> I don't have any, I guess I'll have to read yours instead. 
He had a cameo in Captain America. Oh, did he have a cameo in Captain America? 2011? 1990s? God. Rough time, rough time. It's incredible how many amazing series, so few movies, so few people have read. Like, I have this collection, but I haven't read it. But the people who have read it, they say it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Matrix 1 was like the first awesome comic movie. But Matrix wasn't based on a comic book. I like the Watchmen movie. The Watchmen movie was fantastic. I'm sorry, Alan Moore, but... The Watchmen movie was really good. I would recommend it, and I have recommended it to many people. But it had the feel of it had the feel of a comic book. Yeah, that that feeling from the Matrix number one when people saw it and they went, "Wow!" That's the type of feeling many comic book aficionados get. When we read certain comics, we're awestruck, right? We're like, oh, my God, so good. Oh, you love the Spider-Man too. Oh, uh, not Spider-Man, Watchmen movie too. Yeah, so good. It was so good. I've watched it like three or four times. Ariana, the nerd. Ariana, the nerd. <laughs> nice name. Welcome to our stream. This is honestly one of the best days I've had in a while. I can thank you guys in chat, but especially you should thank you, Spider-Man. You and your collection bring me joy also. Brings me joy too. Uncanny X-Men. This is Morrison? Morrison it should be. No, this is Bendez. Sorry. This is Bendez. I don't think Matrix was based on a comic book series, was it? The Watchmen TV series is really good. Let me do this. Oh, here. Is there I ended up grabbing the whole uh, Bendez Uncanny X Men as well. Matrix had a lot of current comic artists working on concepts and storyboards cool ah oh, thank you ariana the nerd i love comics so i think it's it's an amazing medium and i feel really I feel sorry for people who have never read comic books. I feel sad for them that have never gotten the joy of comic books. It's like, wow, the invisibles. Oh, don't go anywhere. Do you collect the original comic book art too? I, I have a handful. Aside from the comic books that I published, the comic books that I published, I have almost all the original artworks. World War, Hulk. World War, Hulk. I try to get my hands on some. Uh, oh God, I forgot his name. Who who uh, who created Torchy? And he did a lot of pinup stuff. The creator of Torchy from the Golden Age of Comics. I've been. Tr I try to get my hands on his uh, original artwork, but I kept on being outbid. David Ward, 
David Ward, I believe, right? Or Ward. I don't, his first name might be different. War War Hawk is an amazing series. Nice. I'm excited for the She Hulk MCU series. Yeah. Should be awesome. Bill Ward. Bill Ward. Yeah. I tried getting my hands on his artwork, man. I've tried three times so far. I keep on being overbit. The Invisibles had characters who look so much like their Matrix ones. Cool. So Invisibles was before the Matrix, wasn't it? Or after? No, it was bef Was the Invisibles before or after Martin? That's Grant Morrison's Invisibles, right? Yo, can I find more about the Hindus on this channel? No. I don't really do isms. Is there a comic isms? I do comic isms, but I don't do isms. I don't agree with isms too much. 1994, Invisibles was 1994. Wow. Time flies. Oh. Martin, you're going to ban this guy? I'm going to ban this guy. Let me ban. Ban, nice. Thank you, Top Fiver. <laughs> My tolerance for stupid people <laughs> has come down a lot. <laughs> In times of pandemic, stupidity kills. So ban stupidity. Your first comic stream, I had to use my browser to see what they were. Nothing but poor stuff <laughs> game. Serious? Dude, what? Nice. Thank you, Top Fiver. Northlander. I don't know why these things aren't in order. That's probably because I pull them out, I do this, and I put them back. Thank you. Northlanders I gotta read the series I've heard so many amazing things about it Brian Woods Northlanders and I think the artist switched up I think Brian Wood wrote the whole thing by the way should be anyway and he told story arcs of three issues and five issues and stuff That's a beautiful cover. Look at that. Wow. King Mob looks just like Morph Morpheus. King Mob, King Mob, King Mob. King Mob, King Mob. I can't remember who King Mob is. Unknown soldier. I gotta remember where which this is number six. I gotta remember this this box number look at this hardcore Julio's passed out. getting to the end we're getting to the end of number six from invisibles i gotta read it i don't i read a little bit of it but then that's why i've forgotten that it was 1994 wow 
I gotta pick up. Good. I think he's passed out too. Good, good. And I heard the Invisibles are trying to turn into a movie or a series or something. Oh, I gotta click on Oh, I won't click on it now, just in case it kills the stream. And we're back to Uncanny X-Men. This series is supposed to be really good as well. I've read some of it actually, it was really good. This is a great cover. I like this cover. It's just an image, I think. Yeah, it's a PNG. Twitch has actually been acting weird. I tried to, when I was opening up uh, OBS earlier, it was, uh, it was not connecting to Twitch. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, this way. House of M. Josh, how are you doing? Bendez, yeah. Uncanny X Men is Bendez. Yeah. That's the Bendez run. Yeah, he did he he does good man. Some of some of his other stuff is not that good. I think he's uh he's being used too much. But not bad. Let me put these guys like this so at least they're partially back to back. This is the last stack. We're at the end. Hi, new to the Switch. What's your deal? Uh, comic books, mathematics, politics, economics, cooking. What else? Did I miss anything? Oops, sorry. We're autocorrect. That's okay. No need to apologize. The automation online is insane insane to the membrane right house of m i've heard weird things about this i've heard people say good and bad and for now what's your current thoughts i'm showing some of my comic book collection we've gone through one two three four five boxes <laughs> we have six more to go this is out of I don't know a few more boxes that I have is it so good spider-man you liked it okay cool I need to read and all of these it's only six issues how many issues seven eight nine oh saga is supposed to be phenomenal I still haven't read it This is Wade. Yeah, and welcome here, by the way. Creepy, weird, sad, and touching. <laughs> we are in times of pandemics. Saga is, yeah? Yeah. You gotta go, Martin. This is the last one from this box. How long? We've been going at this for two hours and 40 minutes. My voice is rough a little bit. Fun gang. I'm glad. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoy it, actually. So far, I think box number number two was, uh, <laughs> was, the, was the hit one. How some M is Apocalypse. Yeah sorry came late no worries thank you no we have to go all, all night we have to go all night we can't go all night my voice is giving out <laughs> we'll be doing more okay 
I'll try to remember, make a note that three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. We haven't looked at, so we'll have a look through those. Number two was the best. I figure you love. That's a great box. That's a good box. I promise not to have time. Nah, it's okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for being here, gang. Thank you, though. I will heart this. Awesome. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our live streams. For anyone that subbed, followed, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. If you want to follow who we are, where, where I'm at, Patreon. We got our Twitch. This is where we're live streaming because we're going to upload this to BitChute and YouTube. We got a Twitter account and Gab and Mines and Elo and VK where we announce stuff and we're uploading this to BitChute and YouTube. Check out my pick in the comics of Discord. We'll do Knights of Old Comic. If not tonight, uh, later, tomorrow morning, most likely as soon as I get up. Three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Just in case you need to look back. Nice. I got the box. Now look that. Nice. Patreon. Awesome. And remember, gang, if you can, flatten the curve. Don't overload your healthcare systems. Uh, there's people working there and they need to take care of people who are sick so you don't want the healthcare system to be overloaded and people getting hurt okay I just wanna wanna day thanks so much for all that you do loving all the learning and relaxing times awesome Bob I'm glad you're here I'm glad you're enjoying it have a great night everyone have a great night everyone thank you we'll try again sleep well you too simple to remember three for three eight up oh your coder martin you like that code stuff awesome awesome thanks guys i'll see you guys on thursday if you can make it we're gonna do a pandemic cooking stream okay bye for now